the uh, device, the plasma device that Dominic was speaking of is Therify, therify.net. It's rejuvenation. And we'll see pictures. And it's based on what we need to talk about, which is how spiritual experience gets dense or is compressed. Et on va parler de comment l'expérience spirituelle devient dense, devient euh, un phénomène de compris, compression. When Sophie was speaking about um, the Veda, the Danta, uh, she was referring to something that the Veda or the Tibetans called liberation. Euh, quand Sophie nous a parlé de, de l'enseignement du Vedanta, elle nous a parlé de, vous m'entendez bien De libération. And, um, I think that's a beautiful language, but as an electrical engineer, I need more information. <laughs> so it turns out that we can actually understand what is the electric field of liberation. Uh, my teacher, uh, Gurdjieff here, uh, the Gurdjieff movements, Gurdjieff called it the Kesjan bottom. K-E-S-J-A-H-N, Kesjan bottom. This is the Gurdjieff gymnastic, the sacred movement. And it was inspired by the Sufis, actually. Now, the Tibetans, they call the same thing, they call it uh, the rainbow light body. Rainbow light body. In Egypt, uh, they called it the Ba from the Ka. And, but what do electrical engineers call it? Gurdjieff called it refining the quality of attention. And the point is that the, the quality that in yoga is sometimes called the quality of grace is actually the building of a compressing electric field around the body. He says, what are these movements? They tell us of two qualities of energy As long as he has the two qualities of energy in balance, he has a force that nothing can resist. Yeah? It turns out that the electrical engineering term for that is longitudinal electromagnetic. Longitudinal electromagnetic. Which, which is a compression wave where the, where the electric field travels, the, the wave is vibrating parallel to the direction of propagation. To the direction of propagation. Whereas most of our radio uses the transverse Alors que la plupart de nos radios utilisent les ondes euh, transversales. And, and the problem is, 
you can't get implosion unless it's longitudinal compression. Et on peut, on peut, on peut pas attirer, atteindre la compression uh, à moins d'être une onde longitudinale. Sometimes, sometimes longitudinal EMF is called scalar or torsion. Les ondes électromagnétiques euh, parfois euh, longitudinales sont également appelées scalaires ou, tor ou torsion, torsionnées. The point is you only generate that quality of electric field if it's implosive, if it's centripetal, if it's squeezing. On génère cette... Euh, you only generate that quality of field de champ. If, if the electric field makes the right angles to implode. So, I started having Kundalini experiences when I was at the Gurdjieff School doing this. So my, how old? Yes, this was about 1975. <laughs> How old was I? <laughs> I was I was born very young. <laughs> uh, but uh, I started having bliss experiences doing uh, and that's where we were. Uh, this was George Washington's nephew's farm. Claymont.org. <laughs> uh, we called it the Gurdjieff School. <laughs> it was founded by Bennett and Gurdjieff, and those are the and those are the books. So, so we were doing uh, yoga. And sacred gymnastic. And living on a farm. Et, uh, la vie sur, dans une ferme. I uh, I left the University of Detroit and moved to a pig farm. And um, actually, uh, I learned about Gurdjieff from my uh, from my boss when I was a systems analyst at IBM. Actually. <laughs> IBM, et c'est mon boss qui m'a euh, appris, euh, vous m'entendez bien Oui. <rire> qui m'a appris, la, euh, qui m'a fait, fait connaître Gurdjieff. Et um, mes parents, of course, assumed that I was insane. <rire> et mes parents, vraiment, ont pensé que j'étais fou et que j'étais. Euh, je peux quitter un, un travail pareil. Et... Actually, actually, Valerie, when she moved to the Tibetans, had a similar relationship with her parents. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, the point was that I began to experience some intense bliss experiences. Yes. At first, at first, it just feels like your your skull and your body have become frozen. And then, if you are able to relax and not be afraid, um, then, uh, and your breath is very disciplined, Et la respiration est très euh, disciplinée. And I'm going to show you the chart of the frequencies of breath. Yeah. Je vais vous montrer la, le tableau des fréquences de ces respirations. That you begin to feel um, like, well, it's like a lightning bolt, actually. On, on a l'impression que c'est comme la foudre qui nous traverse. You know how famous uh, Daniel Brinkley's near-death experience from lightning? Uh, vous connaissez peut-être Daniel Brinkley. Daniel Brinkley, the near death from lightning. Qui a eu une expérience euh, de mort éminente euh, à cause de, avoir, après avoir été touché par la foudre. It was actually a bliss experience. C'était en réalité une expérience de, de félicité. Yes, and um, Kundalini.
Kundalini is like inhabiting a lightning bolt. La Kundalini, c'est comme être habité, euh, être habité par la foudre. And then, um, if you relax and allow the spine liquid to pump, si on se détend et on permet la, 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 dire, la pompe crano-sacrée sacré, right. de, de pomper, de fonctionner, and there is a certain um, unpacking of the tailbone which is the uh, pelvic tilt. The tailbone. The Scorpios. It's it's the tailbone. It's something the Scorpios should know. She's Scorpio. I'm double Scorpio. Hey, bien. Yeah. La conséquence. La question, c'est la conséquence. Qu'est-ce que c'est? That there's a the unpacking. That's right. The unpacking of that spiral enables. It enables a kind of suction, literally a straw. And that suction is powered by a pump. And it's called the spine liquid pump. Yes. And um, it's motorized by the low frequencies of the breath. And if the spine liquid is pumping, it is then clinically impossible to be depressed. And and then the 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 juices reach the high brain through the mouth of the amygdala. The amygdala, yeah, at the at the base of the brain stem. The brain stem. The bra the, the amygdala is the is the mouth of the snake brain. The bouche, the snake brain, and it is just below the bird brain. The bird brain. show you the frequency. So um, this is measured in the uh, literature called heart rate variability, HRV. It measured, it measured the low frequencies of the heart. Called heart rate variability. Yes, and the main frequency is 0.1 hertz. Which is a 10 second breath. It's called, the, it's called the LF component of heart rate variability. LF. And for example, that's what HeartMath Institute calls heart coherence, that frequency. Heart coherence. Just one frequency. Yes. And so there's a cascade, literally a caduceus, pumping implosion, which feels like a burning. 
And eventually, uh, the top, the tip of my head became pointed. Et uh, j'ai eu une déformation même uh, au niveau crânien. Uh, C'est devenu pointu. Uh, which was uh, the liquid pressure. Qui était la pression uh, de ces liquides. And uh, many of my friends, several of my friends, I have that too, also. Et c'est arrivé à beaucoup de quelques-uns de mes amis. I, I should admit that um, a fair number of my uh, fellow students in that Gurdjieff school, they actually were hospitalized. Je dois admettre également qu'un bon nombre de ces personnes, de ces amis, ont été uh, hospitalisés. Yes, uh, mentally. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, it, for example, um, first the women noticed that they were ovulating together. But then they, they ovulated together and it, it sped up to almost double the speed of normal ovulation. Et ça, la, la vitesse d'ovulation était accélérée de deux fois. Twice a month. Trois fois par mois, parfois. Oh, yes. Because uh, bliss practice is powerful. Parce que ces pratiques d'extase, de, de, de félicité, c'est puissant. But if you don't remain grounded. Mais si, uh, il faut rester ancré. Uh, the book Earthing is an example. C'est le livre uh, Earthing. Donc, de non, rester crash. connecté à la terre. So I left the Gurdjieff school, I moved to Boston, uh, worked at MIT. Quitté Boston, uh, no, left the Gurdjieff school, le, pardon, West Virginia. Quitté Gurdjieff dans, I, uh, I, Virginie, uh, I, I moved to... Oh. Can I ask you just, you said grounded. How yeah. do you get grounded if you are living with that crisis? Because you are, you, you are not affected by, by the first time you said that you Yes. How did you resist? Did you didn't get crazy like the others? Did you grab it naturally or did you Actually, no travail dans le jardin. Avec le mud, how do you say, in the mud? And, and water. And water. And also, and the book Earthing is fully documented what that is. Très bon livre qui s'appelle Earthing, je ne sais pas s'il a été traduit en français. Yeah. Qui est like, excellent pour uh, voir comment des gens ont, qui avaient des douleurs uh, physiques et tout, simplement se mettre à la terre. Like, because if, if you touch the earth, si on touche la, la terre, you come, you lock into phase, on se met en phase tout à coup, capacitively. De manière capacitaire. And the phase relationship with Schumann, et la, la relation de phase avec le, la fréquence Schumann, enables the distribution of charge. La de la charge. And that's the beginning le début of liberation. De la so so when, when I was in Boston, uh, I was at MIT, a university. À MIT, uh, à Boston, and I was adopted by that man. Été par cet homme. That's uh, Itzhak Benthoff. Itzhak Benthoff. He wrote the book on the biomechanics of Kundalini. Il a écrit un livre sur la biomécanique de la Kundalini. Uh, stalking the wild pendulum. Comment uh, stalking, frapper la, 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 le pendule uh, sauvage. <laughs> yes, and I, I was a wild pendulum. Il, il était un, un pendule sauvage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, so he, he was a biomechanical engineer. Il était un, un ingénieur bio... Uh, Mechanical. Mechanic. And, um, he had a polygraph here Il avait un polygraph on the bottom. It's called a capacitive accelerometer. Ça un accelerateur accelerometer. Capacitaire. Capacitive accelerometer, which could measure the low frequencies Il les of the body. It's called micromotion entrainment. Ça 
And so using that uh, polygraph, we measured the low frequencies of the heart, and then we measured how that entrained the liquids of the ventricles. These ventricles get horns. When you're horny, and, and that is a conservation of that phonon pressure. Yeah? And I'm, I'm going to show you the frequencies we measured in a minute. Yeah? Note that the University of Detroit Electrical Engineering, I was the polygraph builder. I didn't invent, I built. <laughs> and that's what I did with Bentoff, yes? And so we were looking at the physics of Kundalini. So there, there's a, that phonon wave is traveling down a map on the brain surface. On the brain surface. It's called the homunculus. You see, you see the, where, where the wires from your body arrive at the surface of the brain. There, there's a map of the body on the surface of a brain. Note that the, the, the finger has a lot of space on that map because there's lots of wires. <laughs> So, so a magnetic donut is fired here. And so it feels like lightning going up your body, but someone could say, it's really all in your head. <laughs> but th this is the the map of the toroid of magnetic flux, yeah? So it feels like lightning is going up your spine, right? But at the same time, you're imploding a donut here. It's turning inside out recursively. <laughs> and I mentioned, these are the actual frequencies of the ringing in the ear. Uh, Valerie hears a ringing in her ear sometimes. She does, right? And, and she says, the ancestors are calling. <laughs> it was a ringing, yeah? Well, in the, in the Kundalini literature, that's called the sound current. It is literally the sound grail. The, the song of the Grail. Le, le chant du Graal. And I will explain Et je vais how the ancestors use that to make phone calls. Les ce canal pour, uh, Ancestral memory. Ancestral memory is, is an array. Sur un array. A net. Un, un of the nodes de of that longitudinal field, de ce champ longitudinal. sometimes called Champs Elysees. Heaven or Plains of Sharon. Uh, heaven. 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 Sky. No. Heaven. heaven is paradise. 
So, Plains of Sharon. Yes. This is a name for a particular quality of electric field. We need to understand that. Because it doesn't make it through the electrosmog. So we need to understand how that field works. It's a longitudinal array. It's literally fractalfield.net. No, no, fractalfield.com. <laughs> and it starts it starts with the frequency recipe, yeah? So um, Bentoff had the meditators uh, uh, tune an audio oscillator and measured the frequencies they were hearing. The frequencies. And then I explained their origin with a new equation. The, the pink lines here are uh, fractal harmonics based on my new equation. <laughs> no math, no math. No arithmetic. No <laughs> but if, if you take if you take the the number of Planck length and time, Planck length and Planck time, and you simply keep multiplying by golden ratio, called phase conjugation. Which is what Hermes called the caduceus here. Yeah. And you get these frequencies. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it's small print. But, but it's actually simply almost exactly the Schumann harmonics. So the, the calculated is around 3 hertz, 7.29, 11, and 20. The calculation the, from the equation. And these 2.78, 7.29, 11.8, and 19. You don't need to translate that. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. And, but the actual harmonics of the Schumann resonance, the actual frequencies in green, 3 hertz, 7.83, 14, and 20.8. So, so this phase conjugate implosion is why Gaia has a mind. It's called negentropy. And that's the title of my book, Origin of Negentropy. Désolé, c'est en anglais, we work on the French later. Tout à l'heure. Merci. Uh, entropy means moving toward disorder. L'entropie, c'est uh, aller dans le sens du désordre, du chaos français. Negentropy. Negentropie, c'est la sortie. That's right. So emerging from disorder. Émerger du désordre. Which is self-organization. Qui est l'auto-organisation. Self-organization was first measured in physics in phase conjugation in optics. But now we know we can do it in plasma, which is therapy.net, which is doing rejuvenation in 25 countries. 
dans les 25 pays il est utilisé actuellement. But to make the point here, look at the relationship between the frequencies of the brain waves. Si on compare avec les fréquences euh, électroencéphaliques. Euh, here is me having a bliss experience. Là, c'est moi, j'étais euh, en, en béatitude. This is 4 hertz, this is hertz. Uh, theta. theta. Very strong theta. Très, très, très puissant theta. And this is my alpha, around 8.3 hertz. hertz. Theta. Theta. Uh, alpha, and, theta. And theta. And delta. Uh, no, no theta. But theta. notice that the ratio between these frequencies is golden mean. Et le nombre d'or. This is implosion in the brain. Ça veut dire que c'est l'implosion qui se produit au niveau euh, des ondes cérébrales. And this is bliss. C'est ça qui correspond à l'état de félicité. This is compression. C'est ce qui permet cette compression. Yes. And uh, compression voulant dire compression mais aussi expansion. Ça va ensemble. Notice though, even though I had five golden harmonics, I did not make it to gamma. We learned later that the gamma, on a appris par la suite que la fréquence gamma that's when your lucid dream becomes a stargate. <laughs> Lucid dream predicts who will survive death. Le rêve lucide euh, prédit qui va survivre à la mort, au passage. For the electrical reason of that compression. Pour la même raison euh, of that compression. de cette compression. Mm -hmm. What about the delta? Uh, the delta is down here. It's about under, uh, under four. The delta is red. Yeah. And the, the delta is hard to measure because it gets uh, lost in the noise. <laughs> But notice that this theta, th theta um, is very low here. And I have extreme theta. I've been theta healed. <laughs> But But theta... Coherence here means yeah. The theta here means literally ability to hear the ancestors in this case. The theta ici signifie littéralement la capacité de communiquer avec les ancêtres. And on my good days, <laughs> Valerie can tell you. I have heard I've heard a few of her ancestors. But, So in my case, usually after Kundalini, there's some siddhi. I have a little clairvoyance. Not so good. But I frequently have clairaudience. And we now know what that is. That's ability to prehend that fractal field. So here we added a little French at the bottom of that slide. So here is my invention, flameandmind.com. My invention, flameandmind.com. Which is the best way to measure bliss in brainwaves. And you'll see later we measure life force that way too. <coughs> so we call this the real grail secret. And here we have en français. <laughs> this is the, the field effect of the grail, right? Of the grail, yeah. And, and you see that the concept of fractality itself um, is literally, you see, here's the classic Mandelbrot fractal. Classic. 
And this is golden ratio, golden ratio, Alors, golden ratio. So golden mean is fractality perfected for wave mechanics. For wave, wave mechanics. And here is a more detailed chart. So in, in green are the documented <coughs> sacrocranial harmonics. In green. And actually, this is the most important one is not even labeled here. This is the Mayer wave. That's point one. Mayer wave. And this, in red, are the frequencies from my equation. You see what's happening? Your spine liquid is imploding with infrasound, which is exactly how we drive We drive bliss in binaural audio. It's called binaural beat. And uh, flameinmind.com, the software for the most powerful bliss. Yeah? The sound, the sound of bliss. Says implosion. <laughs> and that's how we drive therapy, plasma, the same. So we'll do this just briefly here. But I took Planck. Planck, it's not the proportion, it's a constant. Yeah. It is the musical key signature of the universe. And I multiplied by golden ratio. Repeatedly. I got three exact radii of hydrogen. I got the most important molecule in the body, ATP, ATP. I got the, I got the exact only two colors that cause photosynthesis. Base conjugate negentropy defines photosynthesis. I got exactly the British foot. Charge collapse defines sacred dimension. Defines. I got the Schumann harmonics, the brainwave harmonics. I got the Mayer wave, the most important frequency in the blood. I got the Earth year, Venus year, galactic year, and processional year. And no, the galactic year and the processional year. So this is charge, this is implosive charge collapse. Implosive charge collapse. And it's the only way out of chaos. <laughs> just, to, just to mention, this is, this is the Mayer wave, the LF component of heart rate variability Mayer wave. Point one this is the Mayer wave here. Mayer wave is the natural resonance frequency of the blood. That's why if you breathe a 10 second breath, five seconds in, five seconds out, you embed. And that's called embeddability. Yeah, now there's something in here about um, ATP, but that's advanced. So we
for the inside crack house. So this is the chart. Well, let me just finish that thought. Can I finish the thought? Yes. So, so here is my equation in harmonics. Frequencies per second. Frequencies per minute. These are the sacrocranial frequencies. The tidals. They're called the tidal waves. And the, this is the breath harmonics. And this is alpha, beta, theta, brainwave harmonics. They all fit that equation, everyone exactly. You can, the, the sacrocranial physics of Kundalini, yeah? So, so this, and this is where they fit the Schumann harmonics as well. Charge implosion. The way out of chaos, yeah? Um, Valerie is suggesting we have, we have some questions. So I want to show you how that implosion creates that field called heaven. That's the right question. Um, intense Kundalini can kill you. Just like Damien Brinkley when he was in the lightning. <laughs> yeah. it, it stresses the mineral to water bond. So, so, so it means that you need your your inner voice needs to tell you when to stop. <laughs> It's a matter of um, taking the charge you've absorbed and finding a way to deliver it into service. Before you go ask for more. <laughs> Well, it, 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 you see, the, the ancestor memory you are hearing is, is a billion-year-old library of survival information. And, and you can only enter the library. That, yes. On ne peut rentrer dans cette euh, bibliothèque qu'on appelle aussi les. les, les, les yeah. You, you, you can. Yes, yes. You can only enter the library if you can do compression. On ne peut y accéder que si on est capable de créer cette compression. And that's why I'm going to show you the geometry you will see when you die. Je vais vous montrer cette géométrie. Because it teaches you compression. Well, it was really the end of this. <laughs> But, well, I just, so here's, here's the geometry you see when you die. It's called Heinrich Cluvet form constant. And uh, it's lattice, cobweb, tunnel, spiral. And what you're seeing is you're seeing your DNA implode. Yeah. And, and so, you know, people like um, the near-death experience groups, they talk about death being a black hole. And Raymond. And, and, yes, and the death visions are et contagious. Et les visions, uh, quand on est à sont that, contagieuses. That, 
that all the doctors and nurses, they see the same vision. During successful death. It's, it's entry into the compression. Yeah. You want more questions? hole is the tunnel. So when you, when you ask the children who see without their eyes during bliss, they say they saw a vortex tunnel, a tube. And when the vortex tunnel of plasma inside your head comes to when it comes to a point it forms an eyeball and so they, they imagine themselves in bliss and this is what the brain waves look like we actually teach um, teach children to see without their eyes <laughs> using brain waves. Yeah. Because they learn to make coherence in the brain. It's actually a cascade. So, did we answer the question? <laughs> the, the black hole is the vortex. But the eyeball is if the pine cone came to a point. And that point is Planck. Yeah, and maybe in Planck length. Yeah. So here, this is this is the la the last of the hard science. Here's the vortex. Donc, voici le vortex. Okay. Here's the caduceus. Ici, le Here's the pine cone. Et voilà, la forme de pain, le, le... And here is Planck. Et voilà, la constante de Planck, la okay. de Planck. And in one side is a transverse wave coming in. Donc, de, côté, vous avez cette onde transversale. And the inertia does translation of vorticity. Translation of vorticity. From transverse to longitudinal. This is called making the L. Like Elohim. Yeah. So those who can make the L, that's right, they can, you know, it, oh, this is even going to play, look, I have my transverse wave waving. <laughs> it's animated. Okay. So that ability to make that coherently, It predicts if you can lucid dream. And predicts if you will take memory through death. So when we when we play that frequency field here. I'm going to there if I could choose. Uh, so when we play these frequencies in the plasma. Um, we trigger lucid dreaming regularly. I'm sorry. So here we are measuring life force. This is the Schumann harmonics. This is how we measure life force in a tree. Schumann. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. This is Valerie wearing <laughs> the flame in mine, okay? <laughs> this is the blistering. But I wanted to show the uh, verify. I lost it. Oh, here it is. I even have it in French, yeah. So here we put the low frequencies. <laughs> And those are the, the low frequencies drive the plasma through a Tesla coil. It's successful with rejuvenation in 25 countries. And and, thank you. And we feed a half a million volts through a bifiller te Tesla coil. Half a million volts. In low frequencies, Tesla coil to drive the plasma. We can deal with pain usually in one session. Localized pain. Lo localized. Yeah. And implemented lucid dreaming trigger. Because we produce the implosive longitudinal wave. So if you'd like to practice dying, <laughs> it's like practicing bliss. <laughs> it is a matter of learning compression. It's, sometimes they call it the next density or the next dimension. But it's actually the next superposed axis of spin. Which will show up in the frequency signature. So I'm sure that was more science than you more science than you wanted. And I only did half the slides. But, but any questions? Yes. My, my graduate work is in uh, psychophysiology and electrical engineering. No, no, <laughs> my travail graduate say psychophysiology, engineering. Yeah, like, university. And, 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 and just, you just, okay. you don't even need to translate. And I was a systems analyst at IBM. Yes. 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 Um, and um, what we, we pub yeah, here, here, there's the publications. So that, that's the publications in the physics journals. So we talked, we, we did. Academic? Yes, academic journal. Yes, and um, also. No, I didn't, no, I didn't do a thesis, no. But, right. And, and this is this is where I was Michelle, this is where I was recognized in the French literature for inventing the word heart coherent. For inventing the word heart coherent. Heart coherent. Yes. Super 
Yes, yes, they talked about that. Uh, I, I think I, I saw it. Carolyn Mice? Carolyn Mice. Yes, she's good. Well, I, indirectly. Yeah, indirectly. Yes. <laughs> Carolyn Mice is good. That's exactly what it is. The consciousness is an electric field. And there's nothing. There's nothing that's not an electric field. <laughs> so, yes, go ahead. Did you say that uh, there was a way to stimulate the Kundalini through sound? Yes, I did. And how that would work? It's the sound current. To sound and to light, no? Yes, both, for sure. Um, the sound current is the perfected bliss binaural beat. The perfected, the, per, the parfait bliss binaural de extase. Say, flame in mind dot com slash flame in sound. That's, that's the website. So, see the web, flame in mind dot com. And you click on the, the bliss binaural, it's called flame in sound. And the, the flame in sound bliss binaural. Uh, is inexpensive. You don't have to buy the brainwave software to get the bliss by neural cells. As far as triggering in light, um, I, I give, je donne an example. Si vous avez un problème avec les enfants dans l'école, avec, how do you say, attention span? Avec leur uh, capacité d'attention, de, de rester tranquille. Okay, a attention span. The Ça duration, attention. the duration of attention. If you remove the fluorescent light si on des plus récentes, and, fior, and you ins light, install sunlight, et on met de la solaire, you measure a dramatic increase in attention span. On la capacité de concentration des Because attention is implosion. Parce que est yeah. Now, we didn't show you, but that's the physics of photosynthesis as well. It's literally optical bliss. <laughs> optical bliss. Yeah, I, I should have that. It's optical yeah. view light table. So, but it, it's getting late. Does anybody else have any, any more questions? Um, when I was in high school, that's uh, 50 years ago, 55 years ago, <laughs> we taught stage hypnosis. Stage hypnosis. Yes, and, and we used a brainwave synchronizer. To, to teach hypnosis. So it, it, hypnosis is literally entrainment. Uh, trance is powerful, of course, but there are astral hygiene challenges. Yes, astral hygiene challenges. Ah, right. yeah. when, when, when there's a tribal dance, um, the circle of uh, family, the circle of family, has enough intent Assez de, de, d to, control, d to control which ancestor pour contrôler quel ancêtre rentre ou ne rentre pas. Make, makes a phone call. Yes. Uh, Appel ou n'appelle pas yes. par le biais yeah. de son. That's called astral hygiene. Ça c'est de la... Hygiene astral. Hygiene astral. Yeah. C'est de l'énergie. Yeah. Ah, hygiene. Astral hygiene. Yes. Okay. Which is like a, a soap bubble. It's like a membrane. 
Yes, last question. So there are several ways to compress, if I understand well, the frequency. And I would like to talk a little bit about the practical ways that would allow me to move towards the compression without necessarily using the machine. Machine not required. Pagas is here for the machine. This is this is not a sales talk. No. No. Yes. 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 Well, for example, the Therify works better the same place that Blitz is more likely. The Therify works better at the same place that where Blitz is more likely. Which is, if you you must you must learn a little bit of dowsing. Il faut utiliser les pendules un peu. A little bit of well geobiology. Les pendules ou les les baguettes. Geobiology. To to be able to make a map of where the magnetic lines cross. Pour comprendre là où les lignes magnétiques se croisent et être au meilleur endroit. Because where where the magnetic lines cross. Là où les lignes magnétiques se croisent. Telepathy and bliss are enabled. But where you have electrosmog and uh, metal buildings, uh, then bliss is not possible. That's why biologic architecture, biologic, is safe. It's critical. It's critical. For example. Bi biologic materials, wood and fabric, natural fabric, they have a high dielectric. No, high dielectric. Dial high dielectric constant. It means charge distribution efficiency. So if, if you interview the, me the medical doctor, Medical, who who went out of their body during death experience? Qui est qui est sorti de son corps pendant une une expérience de mort imminente, par exemple? When they were out of their body, quand ils étaient en dehors de leur corps, looking at their body from the outside, quand ils se sont regardés de l'extérieur vers leur corps, it is not possible from inside a steel box. Ce n'est pas possible de l'intérieur. You, you can't. You, you're, you're, ah, it's not it's not possible to see their body if it's in a box of metal. Because well, it's it's a it isolates the charge. It isolates the energy. Yes. So that's why metal buildings are bad for the souls of children. It's for that that all the buildings constructed metal are not good for the souls of children. Yes. Yes. Now we have. We have a book about hygiene. On a livre à propos de ces hygiène. Hygiene. It's it's called hygiene. 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 It's 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 um it's called conscious kids. La conscience des enfants. So you can have that book. It's goldenmean.info/consciouskids. It's goldenmean.info. Goldenmean.consciouskids. No, goldenmean.info slash conscious kids. You don't need Websites don't need translation. On n'a pas besoin de traduire quand on met le mot carrément. Goldenmean.info slash conscious kids. Why would you ever translate a website? A web address cannot be translated. Une adresse mail ne doit pas être traduite. Goldenmean.info slash conscious kids. There, there would be no translation. Well, yes, and, and natural diet and natural environment. Yes, exactly. It's essentially a matter of attracting charge. Attracting charge. Yes. It, it, the quality of grace is actually a capacitor. Grace is charge attraction. 
La grâce, c'est beaucoup de, de, de recevoir l'énergie. Yes. That's the physics. <coughs> yes. So thank you very much. This was fun. Yeah.